What's up guys, it's the NJB here, and today I'm making this video on the Proteus gun in Infinite Warfare. So, basically what this gun is, is a sniper shotgun hybrid. So you hold it, you hold it on triangle and it changes from a sniper to a shotgun. It is found in the sniper category, so that's the only place you really see it. So, that's that. And basically, as you can see from this gameplay, the gun was overpowered. So in regular, um, in the regular game modes, it was a three hit kill so basically it wasn't that effective I mean this gun does have like aimbot so it had aimbot and anyone on your screen if you fire the weapon you get a hit marker so you would give anyone damage but in regular mode this wasn't a problem because it takes like three hits to kill but in hardcore this was a one hit kill so basically you can just run around the map just keep shooting anyone who's on your screen is dead so if there's one person on the screen, you'd kill them. Two people, you kill them. Three, you'd kill them. Four, you'd kill them. Um, I don't know if it goes any further than that, but I'm pretty sure you can kill at least four people at once. I think it might only shoot like four bullets at once. Um, I fired it at a wall and that's what I saw. So it's possible that you can only kill like four people at once. But either way, that's still insane. But as overpowered as that is, and no matter like how broke it did make or how broke it did make the game honestly I have to admit it was really fun anyone who actually used this gun while it was broken I mean I don't think anyone can deny the fact that it was really fun to use like as much like as broken as it was as overpowered as it was as how much it made all the other weapons in the game completely useless this gun was really fun to use, like even though everyone can like no scope you across the map as long as you're on their screen, like honestly it was fun. And to me, personally, I think this is probably the most fun I've had like in a video game, like probably like since the first time I started playing like Call of Duty, or since the first time like I actually like played like different types of games and got into gaming. So, and I'm like being completely honest, like this gun was like really fun to use. Especially because Infinite Warfare has been kind of like boring lately. I mean, personally, I'm, I'm actually like a, like a fan of Infinite Warfare. I really love this game and I'm going to keep playing it. Despite everyone seems to hate it more than like, I don't know, anything else that they can think of. But I love this game, but it is getting kind of boring. I mean, this is the time of, time of year when like Call of Duty does kind of get stale because you've been playing the same thing over and over again, like every day. So... We are, we are getting like maps like next week so or this week but Call of Duty is gonna kind of stale at that time of the year and this kind of like changed it up and a lot of people are like saying that the game is kind of stale we do need something new and maybe like new weapons um, new camos variants and personally I think this is kind of like the answer like we're getting like this is something new I mean they did fix it but it is something new and it was fun so they did take it out and that's like that's a good thing but honestly part of me feels like they might have done this on purpose because i just don't see like i just don't understand how you can put this in a game and not even test it out so i know um infinity ward has made like quite a few mistakes with iw personally i like the game itself but there are a lot of like stuff like features that they didn't put in with like at launch and a lot of stuff that just don't work that well but this is kind of like beyond that so part of me feels like they might have actually did this on purpose and they kind of like just wanted to add like some fun aspects to the game and honestly it really was fun and personally i wouldn't mind if they actually had like a featured game mode where we can actually use this gun again like pre-patch i mean i'm not saying that they're gonna do it but i'm just saying like it would actually be really fun just to like mess around with this gun and do that because if you think about it Call of Duty is basically been the same every year. You can argue that the jetpacks and advanced movement have changed it up, and it has. It has brought in a different level of skill. Like in Infinite Warfare, it's all about the movement and gun skill. Um, going in and like ducking into cover and like finding like different spots. There sometimes it's useful, but a lot of times it's not. So it is definitely more about the movement and your gun skill. Like if you're missing shots, then you're gonna be horrible at this game. But if you got the movement right, you can get your targets right, you're gonna be good. But while that's different in IW, to some certain extent, like 
it's basically just like that in like every Call of Duty you play. Like every year, it's just the same. You get guns, you shoot people. You got people that camp. You got people that melee. You got like different types of people that play the game, and you're basically playing the game like the same every single year. As I said, Jetpacks changed it a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's still Call of Duty, and a lot of the things people complain about in COD is basically the same each year. So honestly, I think this was like a kind of like a cool break from that. Like no one could really camp with this because once you see someone camping, you fired or dead. Um, you can't. You could head glitch, but if someone jumps over something and comes up and sees you head glitching, if they shoot, you're dead anyway. So head glitching really isn't much an advantage. And even if it works for a little bit, they're gonna get you eventually. So honestly, I think this was cool. Like everyone was on the same page because for the most part, anyone can get this weapon. If it's a season pass, you get it for free. If you don't, you do a challenge and then you get it. So, honestly, this was really fun. And I would actually love to see them bring it back, like, in some way, shape, or form in a featured game mode, though. I don't want it to be, like, in all of Hardcore, because that would kind of ruin it. Or, not kind of, that would ruin it. But I would like to see them bring it back, like, in a featured game mode. Because I think that would be fun. They could call it, like, Proteus Warfare. Or they could call it, like, I don't know, Broken or broken broken guns that'd be kind of fun so I mean that was just my idea um, I just think that it would be really fun because basically the game is summer already the game's been out for like quite a while and people have basically like explored everything in this game we've used all the weapons we played like most of the maps we do still have like two different map packs coming so there's that, and if you wanted to play a campaign, you've most likely finished it already. So it would be kind of cool if they can mix things up for multiplayer, so we can have like just some more fun. Because honestly, using a Proteus like that, it was honestly just fun to, to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This has been kind of like a rant on a Proteus. Um, a lot of people said it was like a lot of people. They've kind of been. They kind of had like the same response. They're like, "This is broken. Why did they put this in the game?" It was kind of fun, but still, like, are they lazy or something? Like, why would they launch this? But to me, it was, like, really fun to use. And I would want to, like, do it again, but definitely not, like, in, like, a whole, like, playlist. I'd rather, like, just its own game mode in, feature, in the featured section of Infinite Warfare. So, that would be kind of cool. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is me, the NJB, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I do have, like, some prop videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Cheers, mates.